Pointing to the ground! V, I traced some klept meds. Someone's stashing them in a Kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More deets in the attachment. A few years back, I scrolled a little feature called How Affordable is Health? Turns out not very. Huh, sounds like today. My numbers showed only 3% of night citizens could afford health care. Wow, 3%? That definitely sounds like the US currently. A lot has changed since, for the worse. Some people are declaring open war on rippers, breaking into clinics, clipping meds and chems. No surprise there. And no surprise these rippers want to protect what's theirs. They want you to recover a pack of stolen meds. Thanks to the GPS tracker hidden inside, we know exactly where to look. And that is where I come in. And I have a good feeling I'm going to meet with some resistance, so either I tread carefully. Ugh. Or I have to go full blown berserk on everyone. Let's see what happens though. It's up there. Okay. I'll keep going, I guess. Holy shit, this place is a shit show. Is this some sort of a trap house? Find the stolen medicine. How to build a bomb in your kitchen? Oh my goodness, this place is funny. Okay, so if I was stolen, if I was stolen medicine, where would I be? I just don't think. Oh, I'll take this. Okay, so this definitely is some sort of a trap house. Now, as far as finding said stolen goods, I don't see any med kits per se, but the truth about cyberpsychosis? I've had enough of these senseless shootings that claim hundreds of innocents every day. I'm sick of the satire on empty, deadened implant restriction dialogue. I'm tired of ignoring the cyber psychosis problem. In American society today, there are still a lot of common myths and misconceptions about the so-called technology-related personality disorders. People think they can become infected. In sketchy ripper doc clinics, scientists allegedly disagree about the causes of the disease or even about whether it exists at all. Maybe their tune would change if a cyber psycho turned their lab into a slaughterhouse, but even then, I doubt it. They're not getting fat paychecks from the cyberware lobby just to openly declare to the public all the nasty possible side effects that come packaged with their products. I've conducted my own research on cyberpsychosis with supreme confidence. I can confirm this illness is indeed a byproduct of the modern lifestyle and the obsessive emphasis placed on incorporating modern tech into our lives. Although cybernetic implants can directly affect our brain chemistry, they still serve only as a catalyst for the onset of the disease. Our world is subject to extensive dehumanization. We surround ourselves with increasingly more automated machines and artificial intelligence. Our loved ones replace their nature-given eyes, lips, and faces with masks of metal. Some of us begin to lose sight of what is human. We slip into feelings of total alienation and deep-rooted panic. We lose the ability to dis distinguish between what is real and what is only artificial digital, synthetic, such people begin to isolate themselves, lose their empathy for others, and undergo dramatic mood strings that exhibit sadistic 
tendencies. The most frightening component to all of this, however, is that most would never be diagnosed. Not all cyberpsychosis are known war veterans or former mercenaries equipped with Scandivision reflex tech. Not all will go out in a blaze of gunfi gunfire with Mac tech. Many cyberpsychos in our world possess only a single implant, a knee, a liver. They are unseen, unnoticed. They lock themselves up and shut out their friends, colleagues, and loved ones. The world outside of the net and their delusions has disappeared from conscience thought. They are sick and alone and no is doing a thing about it. There is no eloquent summary to be made here. Let the value of this manifesto be measured by the fact that I was expelled from the Zeta Tech Cybernetics Research Team for having written it. So I have a good feeling that whoever is stealing these meds could be some sort of a scientist that did not agree with the whole cybernetic component of just using that as a selling point. Let me check on the second floor here. It's strangely quiet for a place that's supposed to be hot and heavy with stolen goods. So, question is, is this... Ooh. Okay. Is this person hiding, waiting for me to just pull up? Or... Is this person actually not even here? Which is too much of a wishful thinking. Stop! Sure, sure. You be careful with that trigger. How did you find me? GPS transmitter. The one you forgot to disable on the stolen meds. Just hand them over, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the pale of Baradol doesn't work! So, 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 so who's stealing from who? Who? Are you serious? Ripper docs. They're the real criminals. Phalloperidol? For cyberpsychosis? Uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, I never easy. said you were. Shut up! Go away! If they're of no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. Come on. You're the same as them! Rippers, politicians! The same as that fucking halt! I could think of a few differences. Shut up! That bastard he stole from, from research! He doesn't care about the sick! But, but soon, I'll find him. End him. Militech HKS-47 with polymer reinforcement. You were a soldier. Militech, 3rd Light Division, 155th Infantry Regiment. Seven years in a fucking jungle. When times were simpler... Before you got sick. You cast me out like a dead battery. That's no reason to become a terrorist. Where'd you serve? Brazil. I remember all of it. Dirt on my face. F fatigues always... Always wet. It's like a brain dance. I, 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 I can't shut off. Memories flood back. Without the adrenaline. Without my brothers. Fuck! So quickly they forgot me. You're angry, and I get it. You feel cheated. Not just me! I know. But if you zero Holt, you'll make it worse for everyone in your condition. They'll hunt you down. Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone. Holy shit, I just talked him out of shooting me and giving me the meds. Poor son of a bitch. <sighs> oh my god. Not the only one in NC with problems. Dude's got his back pinned against the wall. Alone. What do you want me to do? Head to the lab and been to cure? Maybe this murder hold idea is not so bad. At least it'd piss a few people off. Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Better than burying your head in the sand. Hmm, he... I could understand, but at the same time, it's like... 
what else can you do, you know? And I'm sorry that you're going through that, and I hope that you better yourself, because you really need to, honestly. No. No, no, no. No! <gasps> no! He fucking killed himself! Oh my god, he fucking killed himself! Oh my god! Fuck me, I can't believe it! That's why he wanted to be alone! Oh my fucking god! Oh, this- this cypersychosis is getting a lot worse than I thought, like... Oh my fucking god, I can't believe he did that! What if... Uh, I couldn't just leave without the meds, though, that's the thing. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well, let me go to the... point right here. Wow, this is so sad. So, as I was reading through the little insert that I found earlier, it's like... Originally, the tech was supposed to help people. But it's like, at this point, just like with modern day healthcare, they're not really for helping people. They're actually for profit. And what Militech did they took people's diseases and weaknesses and used them against them for profit. Hence why now there's a cyberpsychosis problem. Clearly. Oh my god. I can't get over the fact that he killed himself like that though. I'm like shocked still, to be honest. Thanks, V. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done, contract closed. Arati Kapoor's son overdosed on glitter. Probably heard of it. Hardcore substance circulating on the streets right now. Arata wants you to go to the lab making it and turn it into a crater. Check the attachment for more intel on Arati and the whole messed up sitch. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard of glitter. Word is that if you take it, you're hooked for life. But apparently, it's easier to OD on than neofentanyl. It was only a matter of time before some zit-faced rich kid fried his skull sponge. Kid's mother was... Arati Kapoor, co-owner of the Masala Studios restaurant franchise. Needless to say, she's pretty torn up about it, but she's not the kind to wallow in her grief. She's got a plan. The lab where glitter is cooked has to be wiped off the face of the earth. And if some of those dipshits making it expire on the spot, I think you know the answer. Flicking you the cords now, FYI, the place might be guarded by Tiger Claws. Of course. Of course Tiger Claws would have something to do with this. Let me turn off this camera here because I'm about to do some sick shit right now. And just to let you know, I appreciate you watching this week's uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you for your love and support as I massacred the living piss out of these people. And it's just one of those missions where I'm just cleaning out garbage, so to speak, you know? Since this mom's son died from a drug overdose, I'm just here to stop the operation because why not? Let's get this over with! Show yourself! Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Where is this fucking drugs at? Oh, okay. What's good? Boom! And what? 
Who else? Oh, shit. They are really serious with these guns. Let me just get a few puffs in of my med kit, because I'm not trying to die. Okay. So is that it? Is that the drugs? Where is it? I'm just trying to figure out what the drugs are. Oh, I'm not even close, huh? Shit. Let me... I'm trying to turn off as much cameras as possible because... I don't want them to know or see me. Ah, there you go. Thank God for these med kids because I would have been toast. Honestly, I would have. Okay, is there any other people? Ooh, okay. Alright, let's go! Wanna dance? We could dance. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I could take on you and you. Let's go. I'm definitely gonna make some more med kids later. But right now, ooh, speaking of one, I got a nice little med kid. Did I actually just chopped off her leg? Holy shit, I can't believe I did that. What the hell is this? Nah. Alright, let me go and find the drugs and then I'll be out of there because... Is it here? Dude, where is the drugs? I don't get it. I'm like going around in circles at this point. Oh, this is it. That's the drugs. Um. Mm, why? So let me do some fireworks and then bam, let's see if it blows. No? Nothing? Come on, this is corny. All right, right here, right here. There you go. Nice. All right, let me bounce. Before they know I'm here. Okay, am I leaving? I am not. Am I lost? Oh, Lord, of course I'm lost. Shit. Where the hell? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to leave the area, but I am lost. Let me just walk on by here. I am lost completely, completely. I don't know where I'm going. Dead ass. Oh, it's right here. Nice. I'll take your weapon since you don't need it. And... Yeah, I'll take you down too. Let's go. Max, you too. And... This is a nice spike. Ooh. I'm leaving. I'm heading out. Where my car at? Where am I? What the hell is this? Hey V, wanna do a good deed and make some eddies while you're at it? Sure. Gotta get someone out of the tiger claw's grip before they chop him into teeny tiny little pieces. You in? Deeds attached. Don't make me ask twice. Tells this. 
Matters Urgent, my client, Masidu Coolidge. You might recognize him from his show, Boxathon, on N54 from a few years back, is looking for someone to get his coach back from the Tiger Claws. Here's the deal. Masidu got himself into a dip hole. Looking to climb out the easy way, he cut a deal with the Tigers. Bad move. Stupid. They gave him a wad of cash to go down in the next fight, and what did he do with it? He goes to the bookie incognito and bets on his own win. Next thing you know, he KOs his opponent in the second round and blasts off into the sunset in an AV. It was happily ever after for Massey Du until they kidnapped his coach, Ro Chi Wan. They, they're threatening to kill him if Massey Du doesn't come back to Night City. Massey Du doesn't want his coach's death to weigh on his conscience. Oh, how sweet. So he got in touch with me and I got in touch with you. Sending you the cords for where they're keeping Ro Chi Wan. Try getting him without tripping the alarm. Hostages and shootouts don't mix well. Good luck. So this is kind of like a cell place. So in that case, I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm able to get in. Let me not raise the alarm. Cool. How the hell am I supposed to get in? Let me let me figure this this out right here. Nope, don't look at me. Look at him. Don't look at me. What if I do this? Oh, wow. I did manage to get in without any suspicion. Nice. I like this. Are you just some... Yeah, she's just some merchant. Uh, fuck you want. Damn, this place is really a fucking dump. Alright, how the hell am I supposed to get inside, though? That's the thing. I gotta... Sorry, Nana. How the hell am I supposed to... Distraction. Would this work? Ooh, I am so fucking good. I am so... Ooh, sorry. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm sorry, I have nothing else to do. H how can I not trip the alarm? Like, what do you want me to do? Oh, lord. Okay, let me read. No, it's just a farm. Hey, you got my homie. Where he at? Where he at? Hello? No? You're not saying anything? That sucks. You're not really saying anything. Yo, they have, like, all these weapons for what? You know what? Oh, Yasumi no Sai. Good night. Let's go. You too. Oh, Yasumi no Sai. Good night. Good night. Where you at? Get out of here. You see, this is why I love bringing my knife. Because they can shoot all they want. They're not going to find any weakness at all with me. Because I can swing and shank my way out of any and every situation. I'll take that. Why not? Okay, let me see. Uh, question is, where would this guy be? Is it too late to turn off the camera? Probably, but I'm still gonna turn it off nonetheless. Are you in here? I hope so. I'll take that. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out where this guy is at. Is it in here? I'll look through the computer, see what I can find. Alright, where are you keeping- are you serious? Okay, so... BD... 
it's one C. Oh shit, I'm not good at this. Anyways, let me see. Hey, just letting you know that ticket sales are salami thin. When word got out that college backed out, I've been getting a hundred refund requests per day. Damn, he's losing mad money. We need to figure something out with this tournament or just cancel it because at this point, we'll be running a fat loss. Let me know where we go from here. Still no trace of Coolidge. We managed to nab his coach though. He has to know something, right? He's still acting the tough guy, but give it a day or two and he'll break. It's a process. I'll keep you posted. Huh, okay. I don't see... Okay, not in here. I'm just looking at every single camera. <gasps> Is that? Hold on. Is that him? Yes, it is! I found the guy! Alright. Nice. So, uh, he is obviously in the basement of some kind. So, let's go run up in the basement because I don't want him to be alone, you know? I care. Turn off the camera. Your bitch ass up. Ooh, that's outside. Never mind. I'm not going outside. Not yet. So, because of the fact that he won, but he didn't pay his debt, they kidnapped the code? Shut your bitch ass up. And I'm glad you're watching this. I really am. I'm not even gonna turn it off anymore. Y'all annoy the shit out of me. You rope? Yup. <laughs> That's me. He's hired to get you out of here. Can you walk? Don't go. I've got 43 fights under my belt. This isn't my first black and blue makeover. Say the word, and I'm right behind you. Okay, then get up. Time to turn tail. With you all the way. Listen, if we run into trouble, I can't help you. It's okay. At least, not in this state. I'll Boy, I got you. That's what I'm paid for. Yeah, so Mimo. Come on, follow me. And besides, I already knifed up everyone, so I doubt there's anyone here that's gonna give us any issue, so. Transport's outside. Bet, let's go. Let's skedaddle this place. I can't believe they actually kidnapped the coach. And beat his ass. Just because his student won and didn't pay them back the money. That is some crazy shit. Alright, we are out here. So where's the car? Right. No need to thank me. Let's put this whole thing to rest. Okay. Damn, you're fucking limping too? Crip walking himself back to freedom. I love this. And I just love how that guy is just standing there looking. He's like, nah, I'm good. That's beyond my pay rate. I am minding my business. Damn, Bendito. I feel bad for man. Like, guilty of association alone in this case. All right, no one's here. Thanks. I, I think I can take it from here. Sure you will. Hey, listen. By the way, who threw down the eddies to bust me out? Masadu. Knew you'd be in a bit of a fix after the stunt he pulled. Yep. Just like him to do that. First he lands me knee deep in shit, then tries to pull me out. Don't know if I should spit in his face or shake his hand when I see him now. Why not do both? Better for both of you if you never saw each other again. Ever. You're on the level. Don't let this city swallow you up. And if it does, make sure it remembers you. Thanks for the advice. I'll remember that. Well, we're all secure, but I don't know. Guess I was expecting something more. Like more discretion. I'm sorry. Next time, try and go that extra mile, okay? Okay. Give me my money. Thank you. 
And another job done, indeed. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.